the burnishing tool will need adjusted to the smallest diameter range. To do this, loosen the lock nut, lift the housing towards the lock nut, and turn clockwise to decrease the diameter. Keep adjusting until the end of the cage is even with the cone. This will be close to the smallest diameter of the burnishing tool. This allows the tool to be lowered safely into the hole without catching or dragging against the top or sides of the hole. Align the burnishing tool to X0 and Y0 of the hole. Use a marker to put a horizontal line on the middle of the rollers. Hold onto the cage and rotate the cage back and forth as the tool is lowered safely into the hole. Stop if you feel anything catch or drag. You will then need to reduce the diameter further. Stop lowering into the hole when half of the rollers are visible above the hole. Adjust the burnishing tool to the correct working diameter. The lock nut should be fully loosened. Pull the housing towards the lock nut and turn counterclockwise to increase the diameter of the burnishing tool. Do not hold on to the cage. This should rotate freely as you adjust the housing diameter. If the cage and rollers have moved up during the diameter adjustment, lower the tool back down into the hole until half of the rollers are visible. The cage will stop rotating when there is contact between the rollers and sides of the hole. When this occurs, stop adjusting. Use a marker to make vertical lines on each of the rollers. This will aid in determining if the rollers are moving during the adjustment. Hold onto the tool holder, not the burnishing tool, and rotate the spindle. Visualize approximately half of the rollers are turning. If not, adjust the diameter until they do. Stop adjusting when it appears that half of the rollers are making contact and rotating. Slowly raise the burnishing tool about two inches above the hole. Pull up on the housing and turn counterclockwise one complete turn. This is a good starting point and will likely require additional adjustment. Tighten the locking screw so it is snug. No need to over tighten. Verify the hole finish and size by making a shallow test cut. Make an adjustment of one turn and repeat burnishing in the same test cut. When it appears the burnishing tool is working the surface but not to the desired finish, adjustments on the diameter will only need a half or quarter of a turn. Stop adjusting when the desired finish is achieved. Thank you for watching this video. Watch more how-to videos right here on our YouTube channel or visit AlliedMachine.com for further information.